Today, heart diseases can be gently, accurately, and explicitly diagnosed with the help of magnetic resonance imaging. But there are also limitations to this method. Patients suffering from cardiac arrhythmia, for example, can only be examined in a limited fashion. Real-time magnetic resonance imaging promises to provide help with this situation. Experts manage to considerably speed up imaging and thus expand the applications of a heart MRI. The only device of its kind that is currently already in clinical application is located at the University Medical Center of Göttingen. The Herz MRT Real-time magnetic resonance imaging is based on specific software. We only record a fraction of the information we would normally collect for an image. The rest is mathematically calculated. That's the secret. We need a special graphics card calculator to do this. This is a box with seven or eight graphics cards that compute in parallel and are integrated into the system. The development is based on a collaboration of various partners from the research and industry sectors. The involved parties specifically focus on optimizing the interplay between spatial and temporal resolution. This is currently still the prevailing challenge of cardiac MRIs. The problem with real-time cardiac MR imaging or real-time imaging in general is always the interplay between spatial and temporal resolution. What we would like to use is a compander that gives you the option to decide based on the situation whether you want to have a higher spatial resolution to be able to take a closer look at the organ or whether you want more speed in another situation. Do I want more real-time and a faster temporal resolution? This kind of interactive interplay at the scan would be ideal. Data volumes and processing also play another important role in real-time MR imaging. When we perform a real-time cardiac MRI and scan for 30 seconds in real time, we generate 1,000 images. Not only do we produce one layer to look at, but between 20 and 30 individual layers. Each time, it means 30 seconds and 1,000 images, totaling between 25,000 and 28,000 images that need to be viewed and analyzed. There is obviously the issue of memory space of the scanner, but also the issue of distributing the images to my colleagues at the medical center who also want to take a look at the images. That's one issue. The other issue is that these images need to be viewed and analyzed and you need to draw conclusions. This is a major challenge given the large volumes of data. The high spatiotemporal resolution of the images is designed to enable selective and safe tissue removal of pathological changes in the cardiac muscle even at critical points in the heart. But that's not all. We are able to examine patients with an irregular heartbeat. This was previously not possible or very hard to do. That's one component. The second component are patients who are doing poorly and are not able to cooperate. In a normal heart MRI exam, they frequently need to hold their breath. There are patients who are not able to hold their breath because of their condition. Right now, these two types of patients benefit the most from this method. In addition, real-time MR imaging provides new diagnostic information. Physicians obtain reliable data that was previously not available with a conventional MRI. Real-time cardiac MR imaging provides new information about the heart. We are able to analyze patients with an irregular heartbeat and are also able to determine how the heart beats in the case of ventricular extrasystolis when the heart has extra beats. And we can see how a normal heart without arrhythmia functions. This is very important information that is typically not easy to obtain. The second aspect is that there are methods to characterize cardiac muscle tissue, so-called T1 mapping. This can be very reliably and accurately done using real-time cardiac MR imaging to where we think we can achieve significantly better results versus other methods that are currently being used for the same issues. Real-time MR imaging has many different applications. 
Aside from heart diagnostics, the swallowing process can now also be illustrated to examine acid reflux disease, for example. Use in other areas is still under development. Musculoskeletal disorders affecting the wrists and knee joints, for example, could be mapped in real time during motion in the future.